Hello, Cancer. It's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. My mind just went blank. Sorry. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Um, let's get into this, Cancer. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a clear and concise message from you. Okay, so Cancer, um, it's pretty cut and dry, but it's going to resonate differently for everybody. So there you go. All right, so the overall, well, I guess the overall energy is decisions. Okay, so you need to make some decisions. Someone else needs to make decisions. Someone could have been running from a decision. Um, they're seeking guidance about this decision. It's a major life transition. Um, and it could have something to do with their family life and family changes. Um, it just overall changes to their life. This is like a big decision here for somebody. And that's why they have to practice the level of of sobriety here and when I pulled this card I immediately what popped in my head was um, sobriety of the mind clear thinking so yes this could be that someone has addictions or they you know they dibble and dabble in drugs or alcohol or whatever but this was more like clear thinking um, because somebody was just addicted to what was happening or what was in front of them and when it was stripped away from them, it really caused this person to start th looking deep within, uh, looking in on themselves, uh, no longer looking outward and looking for, you know, outward um, uh, stimulation, but start to look within. So somebody's having like a, a sober moment and they could very well be moving away from, you know, toxicity. Uh, drama, a turbulent situation, turmoil, uh, frustration, or this could be a physical move, or it, it's the proverbial move away from. If you have not moved away from a situation like that, you're definitely deciding to, or it's on the table. You need to make a decision. Are you in or are you out? Because people around you already see that you're changing cancer or something has changed about you. Um, you're realizing that it's, it's, it's time to go. It's time to move. It's time to ascend. It's time to do something bigger, better. Um, you're really like at a point where you could leave a lot of this behind and you can just move on. You just, it no longer fulfills you. And people in your community, at your job, around you, your your community, your family, friends, whomever, they're seeing a difference in you. And they could even be gossiping about this difference in you. There's a lot of chatter and a lot of talk around you, um, about you. You could be thinking about moving. This could be like a physical move where you're just going to pick up and go. Or this is just the proverbial move away from um, something that no longer serves you. Maybe a relationship that no longer serves you, an open relationship. Some of you are staying stuck, tied to, bound to um, maybe relationships that didn't, that weren't serious. They didn't serve you on any level. Um... And then that was that one. This could be you, Cancer. This could be someone you're dealing with. For my men, it's always that one, right? For my Ice King who thought they could just go through life intellectualizing love and relationships and having no strings attached and having open relationships. There's always that one says Usher. <laughs> um, that one that you have a lot of honor for, that you have a lot of love for. One that you want to go towards and declare your love. 
your duty, your your feelings to one that you have placed on a pedestal because they actually deserve to be there. Either cancer, someone's done this in terms of how they feel about you or you're doing this. There's someone who wants to give you the number one spot. They no longer want you to be the other woman because she's the other woman. You were either the other woman to another woman or you were the other woman to the fact that this person had a lot of other people. A lot of other relationships that they were keeping open. This Ice King, this man in authority, this intellectual, this one with a lot of worldly experience and life experience. Something has changed about him. Okay? And uh, people see it. He could even be talking to friends and or loved ones about this significant change that he's having in his heart. Maybe the ice is melting. If you're a man, you could be on the fair side. You could have a fair skin, um, lighter skin. Um, you could be uh, uh, European. You get blue eyes, something, reddish hair. I don't know. That could just be an indication for some of you. But something is changing about this man. It could also be the fact that somebody left a situation. Someone, something was stripped away from this person, whomever it could be. Now this person is saying, you know, loving you is like an addiction. And that's why they, they're they now coming down off the high and realizing that. See, with addiction, the fun, the fulfillment is in having the thing and doing the thing. Um, a lot of times it's not even in the drug. From what I've heard. So when you left cancer, or if someone left you cancer, it caused you to go into a level of sobriety where you no longer had your thing that you were addicted to, your, your person that you were addicted to, or vice versa, they didn't have you. And now they have to start thinking clearly about how much you mean to them. Or this is you. You have to start thinking about how you have a big ego. Or how they have to start thinking about how they had a big ego. And that your love or their love fed your ego. That maybe you were loving them from a place of loneliness. Because um, it says fall in love when you're ready and not when you're lonely. And also, that speaks to the fact that if this person has left you, don't don't say you're in love with them until you really know. And it shouldn't come from a place of loneliness. Every time they leave you, you want to run and chase them. Or when you leave somebody cancer, they want to run and chase you. So now... They want to, you know, um, describe that as love when it's really not. There is an element of somebody leaving because someone's saying, look, I'm coming back to you a changed man or woman. Somebody left. Someone cut a relationship short because they're, they're in these cards, no four movement no progression but somebody is finally getting it because they're acting from a place of sober living sobriety sober thinking they're no longer in love with the addiction and there's so much chatter around this person because something really has changed with them because they, they're finally getting that they have to really make some life-altering change. Some life-altering decision um, that will affect 
them and their family. This could talk about separation, divorce, marriage, moving, buying a house, getting a dog. You actually have the moving card and this card talks about moving away from something toxic, drama filled, crazy. And some of you, you're just moving away from a lifestyle, a lifestyle that did not serve you, a lifestyle of um, maybe open relationships, no serious relationships, no attachments because you are the ice king. Um, and people see this change in you and they are gossiping about this because you used to be this person. Some days you would sleep around and you found, you found nothing wrong with it. And um, some days, now you're realizing that you need help. Only because you're coming from a place. Sobriety. Sober thinking. Living. And you're realizing that you have to move away from this in order to have that main female that you have given a lot of honor to. Because I don't think she's going to have you any other way. If you're a male cancer or if it's same sex. Some of you were out here dating. If you're dating, you were dating somebody, either you cancer or the other person has serious intentions for you. Serious intentions in this dating, but nobody ever pulled the trigger. But this definitely is a true love. Somebody is truly in love with the other person. And it could be twin flame to where it's like you you both are like the same person but female and masculine energy. But there's hella separation right now because you're coming up as the Ice King and then here we have the Ice Queen. Someone's not having it. Someone doesn't want it. Someone is not with it. Because there is no forward progression. And somebody is just the wallflower now. They are despondent. They are withdrawn. They are taken aback. They are not dressing up. They are not going out. They do not care. Because they can want their family back. Or they want a family with a particular person. And they're realizing this, that this person was their family. Maybe this person is having a level of spiritual growth happen within them because of the sobering event. The sobering time. Someone is realizing that the other person was an absolute gift. A gift from the heavens. And they could have fumbled. Fumbled the ball, fumbled the, the bag, fumbled the gift. And now they're in despair because they feel like if I don't go and I don't get my person back, someone will definitely see the value in my person and they could be in a relationship in no time. Someone also feels like so, the other person is a good luck charm. Is there is their lucky charm? Is is there saving grace almost? Somebody's at a place where they're saying, look, I just want friendship. Because I felt like this relationship was karmic. It came in to teach me something about what I didn't want, what I would, what I do want, what I shouldn't allow, what I did allow. And there's too many obstacles in the way. It's going to be too hard for us to come together. I don't want to wait. I don't want to do the work. I don't want to wait for you to do the work. Is what someone is saying. But somebody's saying, look, your ex or your new person is about to catch a beat down. Because I have to have you. And I feel like we are a match made in heaven. But I feel like the other person feels like you're the devil's spawn. This is an interesting connection. I would love to see how this dynamic plays out. Um, Cancer, if you feel like this reading resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text a question 
to the number below. Pay for your question or see the answer to your question on your mobile device. Cancer, the cards want you to know that um, harmony is pure love. For love is complete agreement. And when you guys are not in agreement with your person, then it might not be love. If you're trying to shove your life's your 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 will what you want for yourself on the other person that's not agreement that's domination your love is is a complete agreement all right cancer all links are below take care many blessings to you